Welcome to the Mastery Mindset Podcast with Dr. Matt. Now, it's been a while and I missed you. I've taken a sabbatical from the podcast and I dedicated myself on researching and building more material for me to be able to share and talk about with you. So I wrote a book and this is the workbook that's complementary to the book. And this is called Peak Performance Habits. And this um, entire program that I have developed is about peak performance. And you know what I realized about peak performers? If you study and research the best performers in life, whether it's in the field of business or in athletics or even in a household, peak performers all do certain things very well. The thing that they do very well are habits. Habits, if you really think about them, they dictate how we live our life. Now, some of us are very intentional with the habits that we choose to do, but some of us, we do habits without even realizing we're doing habits. That's why in this entire program and what I'm going to be sharing with you in this next series is peak performing habits. So today's episode, I'm going to give you an orientation on what I've been up to and why I think habits are so important. Tune in. Welcome to the Mastering Mindset Podcast with Dr. Matt. All right, welcome in. So we're going to jump right into habits. What are habits? Habits are a set of behaviors that have been ingrained in our system through repetitive action. What does that mean? Habits are a set of behaviors that have been ingrained in our system, in our internal world, through repetition. Basically, we are what we do on a regular basis. We become what we do over and over again. And we all go through a process of four stages that form a habit. Now, I know many of you have heard of James Clear's uh, New York Best Time Seller, Atomic Habits, and he talks about the four stages of a habit. Stage one, the first thing that happens in habit formation is a cue. So there's some kind of noticing that happens, right? There's a cue that triggers something. And then we have a craving. That's our um, desire, our wanting. So the cue, for example, uh, I, I, get, I see something that's delicious. That triggers a craving, a desire of I want that, right? I have a sweet tooth. And then our response. That's the doing. That's the action, the behaviors. And then the reward. So I see something on, on a commercial, like, uh, for example, uh, ice cream. It triggers a desire for me to want that ice cream. I do something where I go into the refrigerator and the freezer, and I, I get my Ben and Jerry's, right? I get my spoon. So I do the action, and then I big, take a big scoop, and I eat it. That's my reward. And the more that I can repeat this cycle, the cue, the craving, the doing, the response, and the reward, the more I'm reinforcing that habit. Anytime I see that cue, I reinforce it with the doing. Does that make sense? So I'm going to slow it down. I'm just going to pause here on the four stages of habit formation because this is really important. Why is it important? Because it can happen very quickly. Let me give you an example. If you walk into a dark room, right? What's the, what's the cue? What's the craving? What's the doing? What's the reward? We walk into a dark room we cannot see. That's the cue. We can't see anything. What's the craving? I want to see, right? So what do I do? I turn on the light switch. What's the reward? Now I can see. How fast does that happen? Think about it. How fast 
does that happen in terms of you walk into a dark room, turn on the light, you see. It can happen in the split of a second. This is how quickly we can form a habit, but it always goes through these four stages. The cue, I can't see anything. The craving, I want to be able to see in this dark room. The doing, the action, I turn on the light. And then the reward, now I can see. So what happens is there's an association between turning on the light I can see, and that gets paired. That association gets paired. Now, let me give you more of a, an intricate stages of habit formation where it's not as simple and concrete as turning on the light switch to see. Let's say um, I feel very uncomfortable about something. What do I do? Well, if I'm feeling emotionally uncomfortable, that's the cue. Uh, I'm not liking myself right now. So what's the craving? I want to feel better about myself. So what do I do? Oftentimes we pick up our phone and we start scrolling on social media to see if we got any type of likes or uh, messages to get that external validation to tell me that I'm good, to tell me that I'm enough. The reward. I see someone who's like my picture and I see and I count Oh, that was 27 likes. I feel externally validated. I feel rewarded. I feel loved. That is another habit formation. Anytime I start to feel an uncomfortable feeling, instead of working on it, instead of doing something differently, I've trained myself habitually to pick up my phone to get a quick hit and an external reward. Habit formations, if we are not intentional, can form automatically and they can actually hurt us more than they can help us if and only if we're not intentional about our habits. So in our time together, we are going to unpack habits and why they are extremely important for peak performance. If you want to achieve peak performance, you got to address your habits. And I'm going to show you how in this next series of the Mastering Mindset Podcast.